Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my tier list for M C U C. Um, I have I've had this for like two years, and I've never really done anything with it. I kind of just make it for fun. And today, I added these two. Needs to be awakened in high sig level. Um, I might miss a few characters if you really um, if you if you know anything, I miss them. Um, tell me, and if you don't agree with anything, like where I put a certain character. Tell me why they should be in a higher tier, and yeah. Um, so one thing to say really quick is, um, I know someone might say I copied Cian or copied Legacy because I mean, listen. The thing is, most people have a tier list, okay, but they just might not make it. But they have a general tier list. So tier list, it's not like he created the idea. Also, I literally have like two hundred subs. He's like two hundred seventy thousand. So I think he'll be fine if I make a tier list. I doubt he'd care. Um, so if you want anything changed, just tell, let me know um, why in the comments. Because obviously if you explain to me why a certain character might belong somewhere, um, I'll definitely make a change. Like in fact, I actually have to make a change right now now that I think about it. I meant to do this before the video started, but giving someone a promotion. So. Let's just get into it real quick. I'm gonna update this every month, kind of like a scene does with the new characters, and talk about any promotions or demotions. But um, since it's my first time, I guess I'll just go over my um, tiers, like my top two tiers, and maybe you can look at these if you want. So I have um, eight tiers. We have Beyond God tier. This is um, High God tier, like. Is the god tier column was getting really massive, and they like weren't bad enough to be in high demigod, but they also weren't good enough to be in beyond god tier. So I split god tier to super high god tier and just god tier. Then we got high demigod, low demigod, decent tier. So like used once in a while, and eh, tier eh, kind of shit, and then trash tier just complete shit. So start off with um, the mutant class. Uh, mutant and science are definitely the most stacked. We got Colossus. He with his new buff is insane. Um, I put the needs to be awakened, but he doesn't, he needs it, or it definitely helps for, like, longer fights, but, like, in smaller fights, he doesn't really need it. Um, high sig level, maybe, but then again, you could rank through a Colossus on Awakened, he'd still be insane. So, I don't know if he really needs it, but I put it there because it definitely is a big help in bigger fights. Um, he's just insane. His damage output, his utility is crazy. Next, we got Omega Red. Um, we got needs to be awakened and needs high sig level. Um, if you get this guy awakened in high sig and you're on suicide, I mean, you just know he destroys everything. He's immune to poison, basically fully immune, immune to bleed if you have coagulate, and he heals from it, and this damage is just insane. Next we got Archangel. Um, I said he needs to be awakened. He doesn't really need to be that high of a sig. Um, it's once you get like three, four neurotoxins, even like super low sig, he, he just shuts down the fight. And I think like at sig 80... Um, he become, it's like 33.3%, something like that. Maybe sig 100 something. He needs to be around 80 to 100 for the 33% nerd, um, ability accuracy. So you put three debuffs on them and, um, or three neurotoxins and then they're shut down. But anything less than that, even like sig one, you only really need four neurotoxins to shut down the fight. So he's just insane. I mean, if it bleeds and poisons, it dies. He can counter. He can turn off nodes, like there are just so many annoying nodes that he just straight up turns off with three neurotoxins. So that's very fun. And then number five, we have Reg Red Magneto. He got a buff recently, and the buff is insane. Um, I did the X7 beta, and he literally just killed everything. Like he was just, he's just so good. Like he's literally so good. He literally destroys everything. If they're metal, they die. If they're not metal, they still pretty much die. Unless they have massive health pools. Um, he's just so good. Like, if they're bleed immune and are not armor break immune, they will just die. Like, they will straight up just die. Like, if it can, if it's bleed immune, it will die. Like, a full bleed immune path is just this guy's paradise. Because literally nothing will survive a special three. Um, Captain America Infinity War needs to be awakened. It needs to be high sig. This guy at SIG 200 has crazy utility, crazy damage. Perfect block, as you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, he's just all around. God. Void. 
I debated putting Void in the high god tier versus beyond god tier because I don't really use him for anything. The only thing I really used him for is Abyss in a few paths. He's definitely really good for Abyss and VP. But I don't know, dude. I feel like if you have Cap, Human Torch, and Quake, you're just not really using Void. Void also, because for me, I just use Suicides. Um, so I don't know, dude. I, I really don't know where to put this. I think he deserves to be on god tier still, but I don't know, over time I think it might go to high god tier, tell me what you think, because his damage just isn't that good, but if there's ever a fight where it's just like pure regeneration constantly, uh, and you just want like a massive, like reliable, 100% chance, you know, to like reverse it, no, no like having to play aggressive or anything, and he's your dude, um, he's insane, he needs to be awakened, um, he benefits from high sig, like it's definitely very helpful on him sig 200, but he doesn't need it. He kinda does, but I don't know, I used him at sig 1 and it was kinda hard to rot to have like um, a good rotation with him. But once you get him sig 200, it's a lot easier. So yeah, and you do a lot more damage. Quake, Quake just, you never have to touch the opponent, arguably best champion in the game. That's why they're scared to release her as a 6 star, I mean if you know you know, she's definitely the best science and probably best character in the game. The only one who even competes with her is Ghost, so yeah, Quakes up here. Human Torch would be on God tier. When he first came out, people didn't think he was that good, and Legacy was very sad, and he was trying to tell everyone that he was really good. And people weren't really too convinced until Abyss came out, and once Abyss came out, he got the recognition he deserved with these massive fights, um, that his damage was just exponential against um, any like energy damage or mystic characters. So Human Torch is insane. He can also not be missed above a certain temperature. Like immune to miss, um, immune to cold snap, frostbite, incinerate. He's just an overall beast. Aegon needs to be awakened in high sig, but I mean, this guy. Once you get him awakened, you basically can you basically beat the abyss and labyrinth of legends very easily. Um, this guy can go through all of labyrinth of legends without a single revive on pretty much every path. I'm pretty sure. Um, maybe some paths like one or two if you play perfectly um but he's just an overall like insane character like he has basically a, a thousand hits he's basically every piece of utility in the game basically everything um nick fury um needs to be awakened but sig doesn't matter if one second you get him to sig one he's pretty much good enough as is insane damage output bleed god um immune to be evaded immune to miss i think too he um what else? He has a whole bunch of other shit. He, his damage is insane. Straight up insane. Ghost, I mean, you know, Ghost, he, um, doesn't need to be awakened or high sig, but it definitely helps. Um, so, yeah, Ghost, I mean, you already know. She's just immune to basically every debuff, crazy damage, guaranteed crits, can tank specials, can make her own openings with phasing. She's just overall insane. Warlock. Um, double immunity, or triple immunity, I think, actually, um, and what makes this guy so good is just the fact that he can just shut down any sort of healing with such ease, um, so, yeah, I mean, the way he shuts down healing is insane, he also doesn't need to be awakened, which is helpful, next we got Corvus, I mean, Corvus just bullies AQ, I mean, he, if, as long as I don't have over, like, what, 350, 300,000 health, and I'm pretty sure a rank 3 Corvus could do it, but, like, rank 5, rank 2, 6-star Corvus. I mean, 95% of things in the game, he pretty much destroys. Um, he, he's literally just insane. Like, straight up god tier. Um, immune to... He heal... He's not immune to anything, but he, he, he can't take any damage from bleeds, shocks, cold snap, and frostbite. So he heals from all those instead, from willpower, if you have suicides... Captain Marvel movie, um, Poison Immune, um, pretty much just crazy damage output with the Nick Fury synergy, um, she definitely, her awakened ability is definitely really good to have, because her awakened ability gives her, when she gets into binary, it gives her like a 12 second indestructible, and that indestructible can just shrug off every debuff, and she can kill like, if this is, like, an Electro, like, a massive, like, 250,000 health Electro, in those 12 seconds, she can kill the Electro before the Indestructible goes away, and she basically won't take any damage, so, yeah. Next, we got Hyperion. I said needs to be awakened, but he doesn't, 
He doesn't need to be awakened, but I don't know. Using him without his awakened ability is kind of painful. His awakened ability basically like makes his furies and power gains last a lot longer and be a lot more potent. So it's definitely very helpful. This guy is just an overall beast. Doctor Doom, overall prestige god, um, beast, and pretty much everything. He He's basically like the character that you use and you're like, once you get in a cycle, like you're controlling the fight. Like you're in full control of the fight. So he's pretty sick. Good for Abyss too, one of the horsemen. Clairvoyant, I don't know. I still don't know. I'm kind of on the fence of her beyond god tier and high god tier. Um... Yeah, I really just don't know. She definitely has crazy... She's triple immune, um, can power gain, can shut down all um, buffs on the opponent, um, can heal, can do massive burst damage. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, she's really good at nullifying. I really don't know where she fits on this list, really. I think maybe beyond god tier, high god tier. still don't know. Tell me what you think. Um... And then I'll just go over the high god tier really quickly, and then you guys can look at this for yourself. Uh, I'm probably gonna add another one that's like really good, is good for suicides, um, or something like that. Yeah, I don't know, or like need synergies or something like that. I don't know. Um, so just really quick: sunspot, massive burst damage, massive prestige, domino, massive damage with the Trinity, Namor. Um, he needs to be awakened. Needs to be a sick two hundred. He basically can just. Reflect all damage, bullshit damage, back on them, good damage. Apocalypse, he's a very new character, so I don't know him right now, but so far from what I've seen, he may be beyond god tier just from his synergies, but he's basically a synergy god, and he makes everyone on the team like god tier. She-Hulk, um, just shuts down unstoppable fights. Red Guardian, um, he has a crazy amount of utility and really good damage, but he needs to be awakened in high sig. Thing... Thing is decent damage without the synergy, um, but basically what makes him insane is if he's max sig, he basically takes no damage with his protection, but he needs to be awakened in high sig to really be that good of a character. Gwenpool, I put her in high god tier, and I know you might say she might not deserve it, but the thing is, if you have like a five star Gwenpool, or now a six star, because they just added her, and she's awakened, okay? Um, save her as a Spider-Man. Um, her awakened ability, is she can't die from specials, but more importantly, every hit in the combo meter is 2% ability accuracy. So once you get to 50 hits, you're fully, you have 100% ability accuracy. So say you're fighting a massive Spider-Man, you hit him, what, 50 times on the combo meter, and as long as you don't get hit, he can never evade again. So I think her utility is really cool, and I think her damage is really high with her massive bleed damage and her armor break on the special three. She might get demoted to god tier, but I don't know. Um, tell me what you think. Um... Black Widow Deadly Origin. I haven't really played around with her too much, but from what I've seen, she's basically like a shock version of Gwenpool. Blade, the old god, um, a mystic villain character. He just pretty much just destroys. Um, really good at regen. Celestial Spider-Man shuts down any unstoppable fight. Um, Hit Monkey, kind of like a skill Corvus, can shrug off debuffs and does pretty good damage with guaranteed crits. Elsa Bloodstone, um, her damage is really high. She can shrug off non-damaging debuffs, which if, if you don't run suicides, it's good for Void. Um, so that's really nice uh, for Void. Her damage is pretty high. She can shut down Evade. Um, and yeah. Um, if you do run suicides, though, since you have a bleed in yourself, she'll do even more damage. So that's cool. Uh, Guillotine2099, maybe put her in Beyond God tier, but I don't know. 100%. But her damage ramp up is insane. Once you end a fight with a special three, you basically just destroy every whatever the next fight is, the pre-fight. Um, he's double immune, robot, can regen. Um, she's an overall beast, honestly. Um, Sentinel, double immune robot once again. Um, needs to be awakened. It doesn't need... It, it benefits a lot from his awakened ability. Um, so, yeah. Just, he's a very double immune friendly robot boy. He does some good damage. Guardian... He needs to be awakened to high sig. I made a video of him a while ago when he first came out. Um, he basically is like fully energy resistant at high sig, bleed resistant. What else? He can do crazy damage, has an armor up for um, Havoc. Same thing with um, Guillotine 2099, I meant to say. Um, so yeah, they're both Havoc counters, which is cool. I don't really remember what Guardian does that much because it's been a long time since I played him, but he's definitely, from what I remember, really good. 
Call Obsidian, I recently rang to my 6 star because I had tier 5 and overflow. Um, basically just massive damage output once you get him ramped up. Um, that's basically it. His damage output is pretty much unrivaled when it gets to like his 10 charges. The only problem is he doesn't have that much utility, but whatever. His damage is pretty crazy. Venom. Venom's insane. Um, good for Havoc because it's pretty easy to get an armor up at least one if you cycle with heavies. Good at nullifying buffs with the special one. Really good bleed damage. Um, Spider-verse characters just can't evade against him. He's overall pretty sick. Medusa. I said she doesn't need to be awakened, but her working ability gives her the Furies, and the Furies are very nice for damage and for the auto block um, fail save. Uh, but she just, but like her main point is shutting down robots with the special one and the armor shatter, and she can do that unawakened, so she doesn't really need it, but it definitely helps. Magic, just spam special twos, and she just shuts down fights, basically. Um, I think I would put her in Beyond God too. The only problem is her damage isn't that good. Uh, but if you have like a crazy power green fight, she's pretty much insane for it. Mojo, high god tier. Um, this dude basically makes your buffs last for like half a millisecond. His damage is crazy. Um, his damage is so good. Basically, if they have a lot of buffs, it's pretty... He just shrugs... He makes them shrug them off like 90% faster. His damage is also really crazy. So he's pretty fun. Um, Sorcerer Supreme... I don't know too much about her, from what I, but from what I've seen, um, she's really good because she can regen a lot of health. She takes like no block damage. Um, she does some pretty good damage. Um, I need to look into her a little bit more, but she's definitely a high god tier character. Um, Symbio Supreme, you know, he can just do mass damage. If they have buffs, he eats them. His bleed damage on a special three is basically on rival. It's just top five bleed damage of the game, probably. Um, trying to think he just is insane can can power control a little bit um the armor breaks on a special two hit like a truck he's just overall insane for like the champion boss and a whole bunch of other like niche bosses he's pretty good for an x6 dragon man dragon man is a new character and i think he's either high god tier or god tier i don't know him right now but i think he's high god tier from the gameplay i've seen he's double immune triple immune i think I mean to a few things. He's mean to bleed poison and I think a few other things. Like armor break and armor shatter. He's a robot, but he's mystic. And when you get him in the corner, he does like double damage or something. And I don't know, he's basically just a double immune god who does who hits hard. So yeah. So that's pretty much my tier list. Um once again it's my opinion. Also for like the high signature and need signature, I didn't really look that deeply into like these last four tiers because at this point because once you start the game after like a week or two of playing you're probably gonna have someone at a decent star level of one of these so i didn't really look too deeply into this um i don't really know if kamal khan needs her awakened ability i don't really know that much about her um same thing with like bishop but i doubt it um so yeah hopefully you guys agree with some of my picks i'm probably gonna add more emojis like good for suicides and shit like that so for right now, just tell me what you think, and um, yeah, I'll update this in a month, or in a few, yeah, in a month when the new character is released. Um, this month it was, what was it? This month was Professor X and Apocalypse, okay. So here they are. Um, they might get promotions, might get demotions, but right now I think this is where they go. So yeah, Professor X is the new character. Um, I'll talk about him because he's new, but it basically is crazy damage. And I don't think they can evade at a certain point. And I don't really know too much about him yet. But from what the videos I've seen. Last time I saw a video name was like two weeks ago. But from what I saw, I think I remember putting him in like God tier. So yeah, it might get changed. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good like, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.